great success is not monetary, monetary, you know, values. It's based on the praise the Lord church. Praise the Lord. Other living souls in the house. Shout hallelujah. Let's bring put hands together as we welcome the person of the brother Ogaga. Please to the Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord. Other living souls in the house. Shout hallelujah. I want to first of all appreciate our daddy for the privilege to share God's word with us in the house. And uh, I just want us to jump the sense for our daddy that's celebrating. Praise the Lord. I also want to appreciate the pastors in the house, Pastor Donatus, Pastor Ezekiel, our mama. I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody, everyone seated here. May the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. So praise the Lord. Quickly, I I will just go through the topic because of time. I I was giving um, the topic sanctification, sanctification. So, uh, literally, sanctification means a religious ceremony in which something or someone is made holy. I take it again. I said sanctification literally means a religious ceremony in which something or someone is made holy so it's from the the root word or it's from the verb literally um, um, called sanctify so it, it means holy it means pure it means sacred and um, another word for sanctification is consecration praise the lord now when when you go through scriptures you you discover that god our father god almighty is holy in isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1 to 3 uh, isaiah was taken up in the revelation and uh, he was taken into the heavenlies and he, 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 he had an experience which he, he, he shared in the book of Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1 to 3. Can we just quickly run through? Uh, okay, the media is with me. Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1 to 3 it says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his strength filled the temple. Verse 2. Let's see verse 2. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face. And with twain he covered his feet. And with twain he did fly. Let's see verse 3. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy holy is the lord of hosts and the whole earth is full of his glory praise the lord let me just explain something in in, in the bible when you see the word l-o-r-o-d in capital letters it speaks of god almighty when you see the word l-o-r-o-d all in capital letters speaks of god almighty then when you see the word l capital l then small o-r-o-d it talks about our lord jesus christ praise the lord then maybe you see a long description maybe small little l-o-d maybe talking about some other persons in authority or in position but 
I just want to draw our attention that we are talking about the Almighty God here. Yeah, praise the Lord. So, Isaiah had an experience. He said in the year that King Uzziah died. In Before now, in, in Bible times, before we had the, the Roman calendar, the um, when you want to talk about events, you try to relate them to a situation or something that happened at that particular time. So that was what he was trying to explain. For example, let, if I want to say he saw the angels, the seraphims, he said they had six wings. He said two, they cover their face, their faces, two, they, they, they cover their feet, and with two, they flew. So, and what they were saying there was holy, 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 just holy. Praise the Lord. So, God Almighty is holy. And for one to see him, for one to be in his presence, such a person or such a thing must be sanctified. Praise the Lord. For one to see God, for one to be in his presence, such a person must be sanctified, must be holy. Praise the Lord. So in, 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 in the book of um, Genesis chapter 3, the, the Bible says um, when Adam and Eve, when they disobeyed God, they, 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 they they couldn't stand his presence when you read genesis chapter 3 when god gave them instruction not to eat from the the from the tree which was in the midst of the garden he said they may eat of any fruit from any of the trees but from the fruits which was in the midst of the garden they shouldn't eat and when they ate it they fell short of God's glory, they were unsanctified. So they couldn't stand God's presence. So when God, before now, God used to come to the garden, fellowship with them, and all that, because God loves man. God, I, he, when you go through scriptures, the love God has for man, you can't explain. So that, that love, when God came and said, he, where are you? How and where are you? They hid themselves. When you read that Genesis 1 down, you discover that they hid themselves. They couldn't stand his presence. God is so holy that if you are not sanctified, you can't stand his presence. When you go through scriptures during the whole testament, when people go into the temple, when they go to worship God, they they couldn't go into the very presence which was the holy of holies. You can't try. If you try it, you go, you just kill yourself. Praise the Lord. Even the priest that goes in once every year, they, they, there is something they tie on the waist of the, the priest because nobody knows if you go in and you are not sanctified they when they wait for you and you are not coming out they just assume you are gone so they, they drag you out praise the lord so uh, the in, in those days in the bible times the the, the people the, the 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 when they worship the priest does this uh, there's this pattern of sanctification that god introduced but it couldn't totally sanctify man. Praise the Lord. God introduced it to because of the love he had for man, just to see how man can be able to come into his presence. But still, it couldn't totally make man sanctified. Praise the Lord. So they, they, they do this um, once in a year, the, the high priest, goes into the, the holies of holies, the, the, which is the very presence of God. Here you have the, the, the ark of the covenant. So you 
he goes in once in a year to atone for the the sin of of the people but it still couldn't work so god had to come up again with another plan bringing his son jesus christ praise the lord now before now while this was on earth going in heaven those who died and uh, went to heaven who were counted as righteous men they couldn't even get to the very presence of god praise the lord there's a story in um in luke chapter 16 verse 19 please can we just quickly rush there luke chapter 16 verse 19 is a popular story about lazarus and the rich man and all that praise the lord so the bible says when the um, lazarus died he was taken into abraham's bosom so we then there was a place called abraham's bosom that people who who were counted as righteous men they were just kept there because they couldn't even get to the very presence of god so um the bible says in um, genesis 16 verse 5 that abraham believed god and um, it was counted for righteousness so those people who lived then who died they we are kept in that abraham's bosom praise the lord until christ came and the main process of sanctification took place and man was able to assess the very presence of god praise the lord now let's see hebrews chapter 9 from verse 11. it's a, the, the book of hebrew gives us a summary of everything i've been talking about since the book of hebrews when you read from verse 1 down to the end it gives us the summary so let's see um hebrews 9 from verse 11 to 14. praise the lord so it says but christ being come an high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle you know i talked about the the tabernacle that was in the 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 holies of holies the inner court so christ christ okay christ being come the high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands that is to say not of this building verse um, 12 neither by the blood of goats and calves but by his own blood entered one in once into the holy place having obtained eternal redemption for us verse 14 verse 14 how much more shall the blood of christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to god purged your conscience from dead works to serve the living god let's see verse 15 and for this came he is the mediator of the new testament that by means of death for the redemption and the the transgression that we are under the first testament they which are called might receive the promise of the eternal inheritance praise the lord so when you read the book of hebrews chapter 9 it's actually a summary of the whole process of sanctification from the from genesis down where from adam and eve how they they they, they sinned and they became unsanctified so the, the book of hebrews chapter 9 is just a summary of how man god 
made man and sanctified man by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I, I pray that um, we, we begin to live our lives and follow the precepts and principles of Jesus Christ and become sanctified in Jesus' name. I don't know if I still have more questions. Please put your hands together for me.